Hi, I'm Greg Hammerly. I am on the ICPC Analytics team, and I'm here to present problem F, keyboarding. For this problem, you're given a virtual keyboard and a message that you want to type using that virtual keyboard. You're also given a set of hardware buttons that you can use to move a virtual cursor around this virtual keyboard. Your virtual cursor always starts at the top left, and you always want to finish your message on an enter key, but that may be placed in a different position. In fact, the virtual keyboard may be changing depending on the input. In this case, you want to pr produce the message contest. So let's see how you produce the message contest with this given keyboard layout. Starting in the upper left-hand corner, we can move right, down, left, up, or select the current button. Selecting it makes the, the letter appear in the message. Starting here, we can move right, right, and select C, resulting in three button presses so far to produce the letter C. We can further move to O, then N, T, E, S, T, then down to the enter key uh, to produce the minimal number of button presses that produce the word contest. And that is the goal. Given a keyboard of size 50 by 50 up to and a message of up to length 10,000, we want to minimize the number of button presses to type the message. Let's look at another example. Oh, there it is. This example illustrates something a little bit more subtle about this problem, which initially looks simple. The fact that there can be multiple keys, virtual keys, on a given keyboard. And when you move from C to O here, let's say, and then you move to the right again, you do not move to this O, but you move to this T. So you skip over inter intervening letters that are of the same kind. Also, if you move to an edge, you can't move off the keyboard or wrap around. So let's try to type the word contest using this keyboard. Initially, it looks like we should go C, O, but then if we are here, we can't get to N very easily because we either have to go down, which we can't do in this column, or we have to go right, then down, then left, which is not optimal. Our best bet is actually not to go to O first, but C, A, O, and then N, and so forth. So the optimal path for typing a message uh, is not always the most direct path at each step. So we can solve this problem by pre-computing first all the moves that you can make uh, for each position on the board, up, down, left, and right. And then we can run a repeated uh, Dijkstra's algorithm or similar shortest path algorithm to get from the beginning position and beginning state to the enter state, which you always must type at the end, uh, repeatedly running Dijkstra's algorithm for the current set of positions that you can get to with their current distances. We expect that this problem can be solved in M, the message length, times N log N, the size of the keyboard. Um, some teams have also solved this using a more straightforward breadth first search approach with a larger graph. Either way works. Uh, the earliest team solved it in half an hour, which is great. Thank you very much.